How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Climbing Vlog. So today I'm not going to be doing a lot of climbing itself but instead I'm gonna focus on training. So what I'm gonna start off doing is warming up real quick so that way my fingers are good. And then I'm gonna move on over to the campus board and do a little bit of campus action to work on those movements. I'm gonna start off on the thickest rungs and see how much over I can go. There's three different levels, so pretty thick, medium thick, and then not very thick at all. But I'm gonna see what I can do with those and then I'm probably gonna end the night going for a run back at my apartment area. Let's get started. going to be this red V5 behind me, so I'll be able to put a lot more of that energy towards the campus board. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to do a little rest, a little recovery, a little recovery break, and then on to the campus board. So like I said earlier, I'm gonna start off with the biggest runs. I'm gonna start off with both hands matched and move each hand up one at a time. Um, I'm gonna to try to get to the fifth rung. Realistically, I'll probably be able to make it up to the fourth rung. And then I'll try to bring my hands back down, match, and then go the next hand up. So we'll see how that goes. Four it is. But to keep things even, I do still have to try with my right hand. Was a little bit closer that time, but still, uh, I'm gonna keep it at four for today for everything else if I go up. So I'll give that one a couple more shots and then we'll move on to the next exercise. So on this next one, I'm going to try it one rung down, which is this one here, and it's just a little bit thinner. Getting up was a little bit of a struggle there, so I don't think I'm even going to go over to the next one. We'll keep it right there to reduce the risk of any injuries. make sure it's even though. This time what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start with both hands and I'm gonna move them both at the same time. So my goal is gonna be to go from one to two and then back down to one and see how many times I can get that motion going. And then after that what I'm gonna try to do is just, I'm gonna see if I can go from this one up to the third one. So from one to three, uh, both hands at the same time. And then this one's, honestly, this one's more just for fun. I'm gonna try to do the one all the way up from one to three uh, with both hands. If I don't really get it, I'm not really focusing on that one too much, but we'll see how I can do. Did it. That was pretty solid. I felt pretty solid on that one, actually. So I'm gonna start both hands on one, move one hand up to four and try to get the opposite hand to five and then just drop back down and then try to do the opposite hands for the next time. So it looks like I'm not quite there yet. So instead what I'll do is I'll go one to three and then with the other hand go up to four. This way I can at least work on that pulling power while I'm still stretched out and we'll see if from four I can bump the other hand to five. 
try to get a little yeah. bit extra workout in there. Sometimes you just gotta improvise and it's safe. Be safe. You've got improvise safely. Safe provides. Simprovise. Simprovise? Brianna says I'm a loser. Brianna says I should try one four match bump. So we'll see how that one goes. I'll try that. I'll give it a shot. So that wasn't too bad. I think going straight up from there is really going to be the challenge because I'm pretty much at my maximum stretchingness um, this way going from one to four and so there's not really a lot for me to use my left hand with whereas when I bring it to here I'm able to kind of reset and I'm gonna try to switch my hands it's like I'm tired but I'm not like going to the point of failure. This way I don't hurt myself. <laughs> give that one more try. And if it doesn't work out very well, I'm just gonna skip that. Um, Cause that didn't, I didn't catch it that great. Not ready for it. So I'll probably, I'm gonna do that one more time on the thicker rungs. And then I'll go back to trying the other ones on that one, see how they work out because I do want to get better at them. So a little bit of failure is still good, but um, I do still want to get an actual workout in. So if I can't do it, then I'm not really working it out. So do it one more time here. I'm just getting tired. That's what that is. So try the other ones on the smaller rungs and then I'm going to wrap it up here and then head home. And uh, me and Miss are going to go for a run. Caught it bad. My uh, my pinky came off as soon as I caught it. Caught it right at the edge, and I tried getting the pinky back on and like readjusting. Um, just didn't work the way that I thought it would. So I'm gonna try one more time. Hopefully catch it a little bit more centered. Not centered. Just catch it better, and then match and go up um, to keep it all even still. But if I can't do it, then I just can't do it. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do is just uh, do a quick run up the thickest rungs, one hand at a time, just going up uh, all the way, um, and then coming back down would be the goal. I might fall on the way back down. But that's gonna be the end of it here, and we'll head home. On the way down, I really had to start to control my body from swinging so I could have uh, controlled movements and not really just like flailing about on the way back down. Uh, but I did it. Started to get a little bit nervous. My fingers are starting to like loosen up. So let's, uh, let's get out of here. All right, so last part of the workout is gonna be us going for a run. I've got the leash connected around me. So me and Missy are gonna take off. The goal is to get about a mile, and I'd like to get in under eight minutes, but um, I haven't gone for a run in a really long time, so we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. All right, so we just finished our run. We went 2.07 miles, and our average pace was eight minutes and 30 seconds. 
so it is a little bit slower than I initially wanted to run them um, but I did do double the time so I guess I'll take that as like a consolation prize and uh, Missy's pretty pooped right now so double consolation prize but yeah next time you see me I'll be in Holcomb Valley for Matt's birthday and hopefully after that it'll be back outside again I'm really hoping that today was the last indoor episode for a while, but um, yeah, wish me luck. Hopefully I can send some cool stuff, uh, sport climbing and bouldering. But for now, thanks for watching Climbing Vlog. If you haven't already, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.